Step into the zone where we elevate minds More than just a coach, we're breaking the bonds Lessons to inspire, lift you off the ground In the sound, we redefine the way we're found Tune in, turn it up, let the vibe explode Knowledge drops heavy on this winding road More than a coach, we're a force on the rise Busting through limits, reach for the skies Each episode of Journey, take a leap with me Building greatness together, we're born to be free What's up, what's up, y'all? This your boy, Coach Marshall, from the More Than The Coach podcast. First off, I want to welcome y'all back. Season 5, Episode 2. Tonight, y'all, it's going to be entertaining. It's something new. It's something different for me. I got a special guest, which I'll be bringing him in shortly, momentarily, you know, real quick. But before we get going, y'all, I want to give a big shout-out to Pastor Elvin Owens and his shoe drive for the kids back to school. He made it real successful, over 500 pairs of shoes that was uh, donated to his cause, and he made it happen for the kids. Salute you, Pastor. Keep up the great work, my brother. Keep up the great work. Also, this Saturday at the Legendary Event Center on Jocelyn Street, y'all, a denim and diamonds party for the grown folks, second annual. So y'all make sure y'all come out there and support. It's going to be some good music, good food. Good drinks for those that like it. Enjoy yourself, man. Get a grown folks a little something to do. So y'all make sure y'all check that out. All right. Also, summer ain't over with yet. The sun's still blinging out there. Y'all go get y'all some Roberto Co Roberto Coso sunglasses from the champ Robert Sims. Hit him up on Facebook. Reach out to him, y'all. He's told me today that they're going fast. So y'all got to go pick them up. We got them in multiple colors. Hey. You fellas, you want to look fly? Go see this guy. Oh, yeah. Also, y'all, uh, for all your parents out there, y'all got to go see my boy Mark Deasy at Lavish Clothing out here on Lawndale. Y'all make sure y'all go support the brother. Make sure y'all giving them some love. Get them gear, fresh gear, because he got some fire up in there. And it's not just Lavish gear. He got also other things, you know. You will see a video coming real soon. Or you can follow him on Facebook. And you can see everything he got going. So y'all make sure y'all support the brother. Always supporting black business. You know what I'm saying? One other thing I want to say. Go follow and support these podcast shows, y'all. These are people from Saginaw doing big things. From my boy, Donye Jones. Or excuse me, Donye F. Jones. Yacht Life Chronicles. Thawd Magazine. Kente Parker. Also, William uh, Brown. And then even my boy Andreas Williams with the app Lightways and Soapbox. Y'all got to check them out. Go support them. And, of course, you know, the Mr. and Mrs. Marshall podcast as well as the More Than the Coach. So y'all make sure y'all go check it out, y'all, for real. So with that being said, y'all, I'm going to get into the introduction real quick. It's a nice one. Great. It's uh next guest I got, y'all. Um, I followed him. Been knowing him anyway for a while. But I seen him on the podcast and it was real interesting. And it's something I said, I need to find out more about that. You know, um, city council really never, you know, dabbled into it. But, you know, when you know good people and they're doing some good things in our community and for our community, it's always good to follow up. So, y'all, tonight I'm going to have the pleasure of sitting down and talking with Mr. Eric Braddock. He was appointed District 1 Commissioner for the City of Saginaw Human Planning Commission Board in January 2021. He currently works for Saginaw Public Schools as an academic intervention. And he was the basketball coach for the middle school, or he still is, but he'll elaborate on that a little bit more. When we talk to him, Mr. Braddock also served as a senior non-commissioned officer in the United States Army Quartermaster Corporal. Salute you, my brother. All his army dogs got to stick together. He was a compact veteran who served two tours of Iraq, Freedom, two and three, I think it was, or three and four, one of the two. I was in the first one, but Desert Storm, but he was over there as well. Also, Eric is a community activist, served as a chairman and board of Saginaw Citizens United for Equality and Justice, 
He also is a minister at St. Luke CME Church of Saginaw, which is good to know. And he's a graduate of Saginaw High School, a proud graduate. I've seen his videos, especially when they had the big reunion. He was out there, you know, supporting, showing his face out there. And um, he's always in the community. And also, Mr. Braddock has earned his associate's degree from Central Texas College, which he'll elaborate more on that tonight. Um, so, y'all, tonight, it's an honor, my honor, to bring on the More Than the Coach podcast, Mr. Eric Braddock. How you doing, my brother? Man, I'm doing fine, man. I'm, I'm glad to have you. Glad, glad for you to have me here, man. I'm oh, glad man. to be on, on camera with you, man. It's, uh, I like the introduction. I didn't even know. It didn't sound, I didn't know it sounded like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. You know, I try to put my radio voice on and do it the right way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. So I know I, I said some things about you, man, but you might want to add something that I might have missed and that uh, my listeners and viewers can check out about you. Oh, well, you know, you did pretty much everything you said I have been doing since I came back home for the most part. You know, um, mm. I've been home for the last four or five years and been trying to get involved. You know, I've been involved in a, more other things in the city also, too, as well. Okay. And so um, even just helping and assisting. You know, yeah. you know, you know, we're trying to mentor these kids and talk to these you know, you know, young boys and young ladies all the time, you know. And mm-hmm. so, yeah. So, you know, like you say, man, I'm I'm from here. I was that kid, you know, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I grew up in townhouse, you know, and um, and, and by the way, of 14th Street and Brown Street. So, you know, I know the neighborhoods pretty well. So I'm just I, I don't forget where I come from. You know what I'm saying? I know where I come from. That's cool. Well, man, hey, once again, it's an honor to have you on, man, and to give you this platform to speak and talk about what you're doing. So with that, I'm going to open right up, man, to ask, what is the role of a councilman in the city of Saginaw? Man, the city, the city council member um, pretty much, you know, it, it, you know, it consists of nine members of the uh, city council. It's a city management form um, government. And... Pretty much our role is to um, really, you know, set set the municipal uh, policies in our community, uh, you know, uh, enforce the uh, ordinances and, um, you know, um, approve budgets, you know, things of that nature like that. Um, also, you know, determine the tax rate maybe, you know, also as well. Um, but, um, you know, um, and also come together in the community, I think also outside of just um being you know doing the things at the city council i also think that you know um also it's important to use your platform to to organize too as well in our community Mm -hmm. to help to help bring some people together that's true that's cool man so what are some of the biggest changes you want to see when you become part of this uh city councilman for our city uh that's a good question man i would like to see that our quality of life in our community improve you know our mm. parks our recs you know our community centers you know yes. um we need those things back in our community um mm. we need those things back in our community pretty much also yeah. you, you know and so there's you know and then also public safety is a big thing too man we, you know we need to somehow the the our city government need relate to the community to try to to you know to try to see if we can you know, do all this, this violence down, you know, in our community too, because public safety is a big thing, you know, and uh, we have to protect our children, you know, in our community too. So, you know, I would like to see that. And then also too, I would like to see, um, you know, our entrepreneurs, our, you know, small businesses be supported a lot more too. Mm-hmm. You know, I, you know, hear a lot of, you know, different complaints and about, you know, you know, uh, small businesses, you know, looking for, you know, different opportunities that everyone else has, you know, mm-hmm. and so, you know, we need to support our, you know, small businesses, our podcasts, you know, those things, you know, in our community like that, you know, so I'm looking at, you know, looking to see where we can fit in and then also as a, you know, also, you know, home ownership, you know, land ownership, property ownership, you know, that's important too, you know, you know, for the working and middle class families to be mm-hmm. able to to, to create wealth in their families by buying land and property and, and owning small businesses. So we, we have to make a way for those things. We have to come together for those things to happen, I believe. 
That's true. So we're we're being this um in this running for city councilman. When is the exact uh, voting date? Well, the exact voting date is, the exact voting date is November fifth. That's the general okay. election. That's you know, so that's when they're going to vote for the president and you know all the executive offices in, in the Senate. And also, you have the um, you know early voting, absentee mm -hmm. voting, absentee. I, think, I believe the absentee ballot is coming out September twenty seventh, and early okay. voting go probably be, be around the early October sometime. So I don't know the exact date for the um, um, early voting. Okay, that's cool. So as the city council, do y'all have like say so with the streets, you know, how rough the streets is. Cause I asked a couple of people and this was one of the questions. It was like, ask them, do we feel that our streets are safe or would they push, especially on the east side of Saginaw to work out and repair a lot of streets over there? Well, I, well, what I do know that is they are looking to um, improve our streets. I know there's, um, I can't think of the name from the, um, I talked to a lady from the, um, that works for the road commission. You know, they just got Sheridan done. They just did no. Sheridan. I, I believe Perkins, I think Perkins is on that list to get done too. Man. And so that's a good one. So they 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 are looking, you know, they're not ignorant. You know, these people, you know, these people drive around these this the city too as well and see the state yeah. of the, the state of the road. So yes. And so and that is something that's important. You know, I think I tore up my car on Perkins Street. <laughs> for real. I, I try to stay away from it. <laughs> yeah, for real. for real. And so, you know, communicating with people that, you know, they are addressing those streets and getting to them for sure. You know, okay. so but yeah, you know, we do need to uh, retrofit our community, not just our streets, but you know, our communities, our communities, our houses as well. That's true. Especially, you know, all these abandoned homes, man, it's time for them to go. You know, it's for uh, eyesores in a lot of these communities and neighborhoods, man. So I hope that it's one of the big things that they hurry up and change. And I know it costs from talking to people, you know, but it's something that's needed to beautify our community, make our neighborhoods look a lot better. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I, I would just like to say that, you know, there's a lot of opportunities, I think, for our community to 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 get involved in home ownership and land ownership. I think that we you know we have to come together, you know, form a group or something like that and then and pick up some of these properties. And mm. I think it's important, it's important to, you know, into rebuilding. And I, I'm, I'm, I know that there's plenty of money statewide, federal, federal and statewide that, you know, grants and everything to help with those type of projects and, you know, remodeling and rebuilding homes, affordable houses too, as mm -hmm. well in our mm -hmm. community too. And that's important too, you know, yeah. uh, affordable housing. Yeah. That's cool. So I, I love everything you said. I mean, you even touched on some of the things that I was going to ask. But I guess I can still ask it in a different form. So if it's one thing about our zone and area, you know, where you will be, um, is it a certain district that you will run in or it's the whole city of Saginaw? It's it's um the whole city. They pretty we pretty okay. much govern the nine members govern um at large. It's pretty much at large for the whole city. And so okay. you know, um there's probably you know, this is my first time as well running for office as well. Um mm -hmm. You know, I am a uh, my major is political science. You know, that's been my major for a while now. And uh, like, I do have a social degree, but my bachelor's will be in uh, political science here soon, hopefully. Okay. But um, but yeah, back to the yeah. So yeah, so with the city council, you know, far as the second off, and they, are, I, they when I was on the commission board, you know, they did have broken down in different you know wards. We had different responsibilities of wards, so they might be broken down as to, with the city council mm -hmm. members once you once you there. Okay. Once you All, right. All right. Well, that's good to know, man. And I know we talked earlier, and you have a running mate that's running with you. You know, it's uh, like. Yeah. Well, no, I, uh, well, well, actually, um, uh, Tobias Young, um, one guy um, endorsed, you know what I'm saying? Um, me and him okay. talked about running and everything. And so he's, he said he's going to run and he's, he's coming in. Um, I, you know, I talked to a few people to you know, see what they thought about running for city council. But I think one of the good things is this year that you have a lot of people on the ticket, you know, mm. And so it was. I, I feel like that was that's important. I believe there's a few good people. Uh, you know, it's some good people that's running. 
you know? Yeah. And so I feel like that's good for our city, you know, because you see more people wanting to get involved and you see more people that want to, you know, want to be part of the change as well as me as well. Exactly. That's cool. So I know you say your background is political science, but what, what made you really want to get into that, you know, after seeing how our city been ran for years, you know, since we kind of old school now, you know, what made yes. you say, this is what I want? Man, you know, I love my city, man. And I want to give back, you know, and I believe this is the best way I can give back mm -hmm. as well to get involved. I believe I had the knowledge and the ability um, mm -hmm. and the leadership. You know, I say I believe I had the leadership to to to, to help move Saginaw mm -hmm. forward, you know. And I think it's important for, you know, everyone to know that, you know, I'm not, you know, coming in running to, you know, with, you know, to cause any division or anything like that. I mm -hmm. think the most important thing we have to look at is, you know, um, I believe we have to close the gap on the generations. Yeah. You know, I think, you know, we have an older generation. You have some really good people that's, you know, people that's been putting in work for years. And so, mm -hmm. you know, hopefully far as us being the next generation, we can learn and then come in and make improvements like that. You know what I'm saying? Because oh, yeah. there's a lot of different factors when it comes to, you know, you know, um, running the public, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. For things to happen, you know? Yeah. Now I will ask, cause you know, it's always good. It's always bad. Have uh -huh. you been getting any negative flack by doing this? You know, putting your name in this ballot, have you, have you received any negative flack from your own peers? No, exactly. Uh, actually, no, I haven't. I haven't. Yeah. I've been getting a lot of good support. You know, a lot of people say, yeah. man, we're looking for good people to run. It's good. They go support. You. I even got some people saying, man, I don't even vote. I'm going to come out and vote <laughs> for you. So we hopefully right. we hopefully people come out and vote. Um, I think it's important that we get more involved in our local um, government and our Congress as well. Um, right. You know, our, you know, make sure we put the right person in the Congress as well, because no matter how that happened at the presidential level, which we have someone from our hometown and, you know, to, 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 you know, fight for us and fight for the things we need here, you know? And so um, I think right now we have Chris, we have Christian Rivet, who's, um, who's, um, you know, going to be on the, on the ballot and on, on general for the general election for the Congress. And so we need to get behind her and support her because she's going to support us back here, you know? Okay. So. Okay, man, that's good to know. You know, I'll, like I told you earlier, man, I'm, I'm really not a big politician, you know, into it. I know what's right, what's wrong, but I do know that the local is more important, you know, in reality to me, the local vote and people are the most important. So I appreciate you and commend you for, you know, even stepping up in this field, my brother, most definitely, you know. So a question that was uh, given to me, it said, um, if you had a million dollars that you can do for our city, how would you invest that into our city of Saginaw? I, Even I, believe, my first, I believe my first my first uh, project is if I had a million dollars, my first project would, would build a community center. Yes, uh, build a community city that uh, in a facility that would can be that would could, that can hold and, and in place you know our kids and cater to our children, you know all children too. You know, yeah. um, and so we have we have we have many different programs like help and we have, you know, these, you know, um, all these different programs that if we can just come together, you know, and, you know, everybody want to be on top. But if we can just come together and, you know, mm -hmm. people have to do their own individual things or, you know, and which is fine. It's enough room for two or three mentorships, but let's come together, you know, yeah. and you know, cause, and do what's best for our um for our children, because our city mm -hmm. smart, we all know each other. We know each other from somewhere, somewhere, somehow. We all know each other. We know your mother, or your cousin, or, yep. you know. And so we, we, I feel like there's a responsibility to take care of our our, our communities, and mm -hmm. our community centers are like more like resource centers where it can mm -hmm. help. It can help the children and the parents. You be, you know, where we can feed, clothe, and educate our community. That's right, and that's the biggest issue too that I see right now, bro. We don't work together. We got a bunch of positive men and women here. But like you said, it's about I want mine. No, why we can't come together and help them all. You know, right. and that goes even when, you know, you you coach, you know, they even go in that coaching world. We got to come together that's and help cool. everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's cool. So speaking of 
schools. How do you feel about the new school that we just opened here in Saginaw? Man, that's a that's a, that's a tough question, man. I'll tell you that I, though, man. I love being a Trojan. You know, I have <laughs> you know, I played basketball for Saginaw High. So, you know, for me, man, I really, you know, I really was proud of it. Really represent the city for me. You know, Saginaw High really mm-hmm. represents the city for me. But, you know, I'm all about change. You know, the new. I think that, that our children deserve. Uh, uh, facilities like this, uh, new mm-hmm. up to up to date, up to um, up to date school, state of the art school, you know. And so sure. I do believe that they deserve that, you know. And far as the politics of the name and and the colors and all that stuff is really not important. But what's important is them kids learning and what we produce out that school, you know. Yeah. And so we have to make sure we, you know, the, the right people are in place. You know what I'm saying to carry on those certain cultures. You know what I'm saying, so those sort of cultures that's that true. we that, that we that we that we pride about, that we have pride about. You know, that's and true. So, I like that. Yeah, I mean, because I know I went to BV, so you know, I, I experienced our school closing a long time ago, and you know, mm-hmm. and I feel bad for y'all community that's behind the hill. You know, even though I worked there and coached there, you seen that sooner or later it was going to happen. But it was like a shock. And even today, I rode by uh, Arthur Hill and seen the sign going. You know, I hadn't been by the high in a while, but I seen right. the sign going. And that was just like, you know, kind of like a culture shock. Like, damn, it's really, it's really gone. It's really gone. And, yeah. you know, and, you know I, I served some time in Texas, man. And um, my son played, my kids, my kids played sports. You know, I have three children, grown children. And, you know. <laughs> Going to those different gyms, we went to one high school. Um, they could a consolidated high school in Texas, man. That mug was looked like Sagar Valley. That mug was big, it was nice. I mean, mm. the football field, I mean, it was, and I was like, wow, you know, you know, so you know, I, I was like, man, we deserve that. The kids deserve that, and I, you know, yeah, and you know, they deserve it. So that's cool, yeah. I wish them all the luck and everything, you know, from the education to the athletics, you know, I wish. Every kid, you know, a great thing there and be real successful, even with, you know, the doubters and the people that don't want to see it be successful. But like you said, at the end of the day, it's about them kids. It's about the children. It's it's theirs now. It's not ours no more. So it's theirs. And so, you know, and so, you know. They, you know, they didn't, they didn't go to the high or the hill, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. This is not, so this is for them. So, we, you know, yeah. we have to embrace it. You know what I mean? We have to embrace it. That's right. So you did touch a little bit earlier, but I have to ask, like, what's important to you for our city? Is it like building new homes, stopping the violence in our community? You know, what, how does that rank for you? Because I know we need both. You know, we definitely need to stop in the violence. But you know, as a, yeah, we do. You know, I like to say every. I like to say everything. Oh, excuse me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like to say everything. Everything a glass ball. You know, say everything a glass ball. You can't drop neither one of them. But I do think I do. We do need to have the uh, the public safety, our community, our culture. You know, we need to mm-hmm. we need to denounce some of the things that has happened. And I mm-hmm. think the toughest thing, you know, like I, you know, the historical beefs and the, the back of the retaliations, you know, those things are going to be hard to, to intervene, but we need some intervention. Pretty, We need some intervention bad, you know, in the city mm-hmm. when it comes to violence here in the city. So, you know, I, I think, you know, most importantly, I believe we have to start with the younger generation. We need to be more deliberate and more intentional mm-hmm. with the, you know, I think like the third graders, you know, third, four, you know, we need to go on and yeah. get them now. We need to yeah. snatch them up and you know, and start doing something different, having scenes for them, th- th- that generation. Not saying that the other generation is lost, but we need to do something else for that. We need an intervention for that and start mm-hmm. building you know, things. I would like to see that. But public safety is probably one of the biggest one, biggest things, mm-hmm. you know, um, because, you know, our identity is kind of, kind of trapped around that, you know. Yeah, that's you, true. You know what I'm so if we can if we can just have our own identity as a city in this country, man, we, you know, we, we are a very talented city, you know, for, you know, we produce so much talent out this city to be a city under a hundred thousand, you know? Yeah. And so, and so, you know, we have the, we have the talent, the, the, the people, you know, we have the, you know, we have it here. And so we yeah. don't have to be like Chicago. We don't have to be like Memphis. We don't have to be like, 
Gary, Indiana. We don't have to be the baddest city in the state mm-hmm. in that regards. You know what I mean? So, you know, I would like to see us have an identity change for real. Yeah. Do you feel we need more like hometown police officers? You know, like you see the Beatty brothers, you know, born and raised here, grew up here. And, you know, when we were younger, I seen more local police, you know, that was from our neighborhoods. Like you go home or you go to this side of the town, they live right there. Do you know we need more of that that can have a little bit more community involvement? Man, I believe that helps. You know, I believe that helps. You know, uh, my uncle, you know, Officer Braddock was mm-hmm. a police officer who lived in the community, worked in the community, mm-hmm. and, you know, everybody knew him and, mm-hmm. you know, he took care of a lot of people here, you know, because a lot of people come yeah. up to him and thank me for, for, for what he did for, for them. That's cool. And, and, um, and so, um, yes, I think it's important, you know, um, I feel like police is important in our community, you know, um, for the most part, you know, because we are, you know, when time, when time's in trouble, you know, we want to protect our citizens and things of that nature. Mm-hmm. But I do believe that it's important that our police officers are um, from our community or understand our community, you know, uh, you know, come from somewhere that's kind of similar to ours. You know, if we recruit mm-hmm. police officers from, if we recruit police officers, you know, where are they coming from, you know, and, and what yeah. type of environment? used to you know what i mean so yep, you know that's true no i just you know i just something that's a personal thing of me you know mine that's like we need to see more you know people that's from these areas you know and that way i th- I believe they have a bigger role in the communities also mm-hmm. too man Thor magazine uh jay jack said what's happening my guy man you know, jay jackson that's my guy oh, yeah. man what's up jay Oh, yeah, yeah, we, we actually graduated together, man. Yeah, okay. I, got, I got to hit you up, man. I got to hit you up. We got to get, we got to get together. Oh yeah, you got to get you in the magazine talking about the, you know, the thing you're doing, man. So for it's sure, a great guy. Sure. I had him on the podcast last week, and we kicked it for over an hour and a half about sports, man. So that was all love, always. Jake Jack, appreciate you. For oh, real. yeah, for sure. Good guy. Always been a good, cool guy. Cool, cool guy. <laughs> That's true. So, man, with that, I know you told me you might uh, be done coaching, man. You know, how how do you feel really about that? Do you, you know, under, we know the big difference, man. You know the behind the scenes. But right. the impact you're going to make on them kids, though, you know what I'm saying, not being there. Man, you know, I, I've been getting a couple, you know, you know, you know, uh, remarks and things coming back to me. You know, you know, some mm-hmm. players are looking for me to, you know, coach them. You know, yeah. uh, but man, it's, you know, it's, it's just a lot. I would just say it's just a lot for me, you know, mm-hmm. to, you know, for, for me to do, you know, to, to be in that realm right now, you know, and so I had to, I had to set it down. And also, you know, I'm, you know, I'm raising my grandson. Everybody that know me, you know, I always had like, look, my grandson with me, he's nine. Okay. And so you know, he's getting, into, he's getting into sports now. Oh yeah. So, you know, oh, it makes it kind of tough with the back and forth, you know, and so. You yeah. know, we might revisit it again. Though I miss it, I miss it, I miss it. But you yeah. know, I feel oh, like yeah. I belong out there. But just a lot more to it, just just the, than the game. You know what I mean? It's oh yeah, like, it's, people don't understand that part of it, bro. When it comes to coaching, man, for real, and that's the truth. So, what's some of the favorite things you like to do at home, man? I know you know family, man, of course. But what's some of the the good things, man, favorite I, things that you like to do? Man, I'm probably pretty boring, man. I read a lot. You know, I read a lot. <laughs> I, I I read a lot, man. I do. Okay. I, read, I read a lot of different books. Um, mm. I be at my Bible, but I read I read a lot, you know, and, and I be studying, you know. So, I, I you know, that's what I be I do. I watch Power, though. I got a couple shows that I watch mm. on TV. Okay. You know, you know, yeah, you know I'm a basketball fan, so I check out the, you know. Mm. Yeah, you got yeah, to yeah, but I like hanging out with my people, man. Seeing, you know, seeing my people, you know, you know, mm-hmm. playing dominoes though. I, I like a good game of dominoes, man. So all y'all, if somebody invite me over for some dominoes so we can get them up. <laughs> oh, I heard that. That's all right, then, man. And since you like to read, I'm gonna give us. I'm gonna give a little plug coming soon in 2025 too, bro. Yeah. Okay. The memorizing Coach Marshall. It's coming soon. Okay. You know. man. It's, it's complete, but it's all in that processing now. You know, took me some years to finish it, man. But 
and give you something to read and you know get a different side that's, of that's, shit that's how you know it's good work that's how you know it's good yeah. work man it took years to write a book and that's what you know it's some yeah. good work yeah. you know you know watching my wife do it i got motivated behind it and said you know what i gotta tell my story you know because ain't nobody else gonna tell it like me so exactly yeah. exactly but that's exactly. cool and speaking of that story, man, before we end up getting up out of here, man, because I know you're a busy man, when do you t- find time to rest, my brother? <laughs> oh, man, I'm working on that. I'm working on that. I'm getting it now. You know, now that I'm not coaching, I got a little, I'm getting a little bit more rest, to be honest. <laughs> okay. I got, I'm, doing cool. a less, I'm doing less driving around. Than yeah. I did, less driving around, so I got some time now. That's right. Uh, yeah, but rest is important, man, but like I said, it, it's going to take all of us, man. And my my my, my slogan is we, we're stronger together. That's you know, right. and so we have to come together, be willing to come together. We might have to, some of these leaders, we might have to compromise uh, mm. some things. But, you know, for, to advance our city, you know, to yeah. advance our city and advance our communities, you know. And I, I truly believe that once we once we get get this, I, I truly go get some good people in office, and I think in the years to come, you're going to see the change in Saginaw. And I think a lot of things are changing. And I think you're going to see the change in Saginaw to where you're going to see people want to move back. Mm-hmm. You know, I think a few couple people came back and like, I'm just going to stay here, you know. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, if we can we can build it, build the economy, build the economy up here, um, build our small businesses up, you know, um, mm-hmm. get some more home ownerships in our community, you know. We, you know, I think, you know, things can look good for us in our city in the, in the future, you know. And so right. I would like to be part of that process and, and lead us into that process. So, you know, yeah. vote for Braddock. Yeah, vote yeah, for Braddock. I put that back up there again for you, bro. <laughs> like you say, we are stronger together. We're stronger so together. For sure. That's right. So y'all make sure y'all go out November 5th or if you're doing your early voting, y'all make sure y'all look on that ballot and check my man's name. Bro, I wish you all the best. I wish you nothing but Man, success. I appreciate and, it, man. You know, I mean, it was cool not knowing it, talking in the hallway at Bridgeport while you sub in class, and, you know, now we're talking <laughs> about you running for city council. But one thing, do y'all work close with the mayor, too? I meant to ask that earlier. Well, yes. The, well, the mayor is part of the city council. The mayor is okay. part of the city council, and the city council is the one who votes the mayor, vote for the mayor. Oh, so, okay, yeah. cool. See, I told you yeah, I ain't yeah. know a whole lot, bro. I'm learning. I'm learning. Yeah, and you know, it's a lot of people. It's a lot of people out there, man. The same way, man. So don't feel bad. Cause, I mean, you know, people not really. You know, they don't really pay man, attention to that stuff. I wish you nothing but just, Um, are you gonna have any like platforms or y'all having any rallies where you're gonna be speaking at? You know, for people. To we look to we. We're looking to do a rally here um, soon. We working out the. We working out the. De- Matter of fact, we're supposed to meet this weekend on it. Okay. And so, um, yeah, we're supposed to meet this weekend on it. I'm glad you said that. Yeah, we're supposed to meet this weekend. I gotta make sure I call, make some phone calls today. But we're supposed to meet. Um, we're supposed to um, meet on that and, and try to get that get that thing rolling. And do like a rally for the public so people can come out and, and and you know meet meet some of the candidates. You know, so hopefully we can put that together. There are some forms coming up. I, you know, so I, I don't, you know the forms coming up as well. Um, you also have to send the seals running as well for mm-hmm. city council, you know, city council. Um, and so, um, and Tobias Young, um, Charles Allen, those guys I like to give a shout out to, you know. Oh, and yeah. so, um, yeah, so, yeah, you know, it's a good people running, man. Y'all get out there and vote, exercise the right to vote. You know what I'm saying? It's important. Mm-hmm. We need to get in the practice of it. We need to get in, the, you know, build that back up, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Pass down that pass down good habits to the next generation that's right well mr Braddock, my brother you know future city councilman hey it was a blessing man to sit and talk with you tonight you know what i'm saying oh, i hope yeah. some people learn something hope they learn more about you you know and they're gonna come out and support you but from here on out man i'll be promoting and helping you and whatever you need from me man you just let me know i got you back my brother all right, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me as well. Oh man, thank you for spending time talking with me tonight, man, on the on the podcast, bro. It was a blessing. And I salute you, my brother. All right, thank you, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate it.
All right, we'll talk. Yep, peace. So y'all see, man, it's a great conversation with Mr. Eric Braddock on the More Than a Coach podcast. You see, I'm repping the gear, go out and vote. Y'all make sure y'all do what y'all got to do to support and help this brother out, as well as the other uh, people that's running for city council. Hey, they all we got They're about making changes. You already see here about the youth, and that's what we need. We need more people. That's about these kids, man, and making the better for them and their future. So with that being said, y'all, I appreciate y'all tuning in tonight. Um, next week, y'all check in with me again next week. We're talking about mental health with my brother Corey Ufit Jackson, and that's going to be something powerful there as well. So y'all make sure y'all check it out. It's next Thursday, September 19th, right here on the More Than The Coach podcast. And once again, y'all, I got to throw that to memorize the Coach Marshall. 2025, you're going to like it. Trust me. I had to sit back sometime when I was writing like, wow. But other than that, y'all, this your boy, Coach. I'm out. Y'all have a good night. Peace. Step into the zone where we elevate minds. More than just a coach, we're breaking the bonds. Lessons to inspire, lift you off the ground. In the sound, we read the find the way we're found. Tune in, turn it up, let the vibe explode. Knowledge drops heavy on this winding road. More than a coach, we're a force on the rise. Busting through limits, reach for the skies. Each episode of Journey, take a leap with me. Building greatness together, we're born to be free. Chasing the dream, season with passion, we're more than a team. 